hi everyone so i have seen comments on my videos that you know you want to learn how to create the scenes how to you know make them from scratch how to generate those ideas so i have received these questions in my comments so today i'll be showing you a trick on how to get creativity or you know how to get that spark of imagination when you are you know starting your edit as you can see it's a blank canvas over here so just you know head out to your instagram or youtube anything just head out to any of your social media and just randomly scroll okay look for inspiration you can also try out pinterest okay it's very good then what i was doing is i was doing the same thing i was scrolling through instagram and suddenly a post appeared let me show you okay this by so digital copy studio okay so as you can see over here it's not a video okay it's images if you you know go to the left and right it's images after seeing this i thought that the design was so good why could why can't i make it into a video okay and try different animations these things okay these type of trying out new things will only help make your creativity better okay so you know i thought that let's just do this so what i did is first of all i you know collected all the you know font styles used in this video so i will give all the font styles which i have used in the description so you know you can just match it out so let's you know just start by making something okay by using this as our base first i you know got this texture or background from texture labs okay this paper background i got from texture labs so texture labs is a very good tool where you know or website where you can get high quality textures for free so i got this so now i'll be doing this part okay this part will be fast forwarded because you know there are only text written here okay i'll show you how to make this circle okay and i will also give you the name of the font styles in the description so it's not a problem for you okay so let me give you a rundown of this a bit so for writing this i have you know used the font cc meanwhile for this part it's the common one times new roman for this part it's niti typewriter and for the last one this small one is bradley hand itc hdd okay so as you can see i have you know almost you know tried to match the font styles and the color okay to get this now for the next part is this okay circle so what you have to do is basically just select your pen tool head on to stroke select the solid hit okay and then let's delete the stroke okay fill okay delete the fill and keep the stroke now we'll make something like this okay something a bit weird shape okay for this now what you have to do is you know head on to texture labs and bring in some more textures so what i did is first of all i brought this which is the transparent tape as you can see you can see the tape here and what i did is puts okay like this on the page okay so you know you can see that this is looking as if it is you know crumbled over here okay so i'm going to keep it like this to you know give the whole thing a bit of paper vibe so that's why i did it now for the next part as you can see here there are some ads here stuck with cello tape okay some paper here and here okay so what i'm going to do is bring okay over here one image and one image over here it's you know over for now but i wanted to spice it up a little bit so what i did is bought some more textures okay from texture labs and you know i changed the mode to to you know multiply and you know put one over here control d r for rotation rotate it 
and I put one over here. Okay. I'm just going to select all the text. Okay. And just bring it down a bit. So now you can see, you know, you're getting that, you know, texture vibes. Okay. And to move to the right, okay, you know, we have to click the button over here. So I got that idea that if, you know, I want to show the next part of the animation, which I'll make, why don't I include these also? Okay. So let's make that to ellipse tool and make a circle like this control alt home okay let's select something like this in fill okay hit okay and i'm going to just delete the stroke don't need the stroke for this okay and you no know, make it a bit darker okay gray is good now we are going to make an arrow so again pen tool this time make it darker make an arrow like this and you know let's enable the stroke and delete the fill from this okay for the stroke i want to you know select something like this hit ok and then what i'm going to do is basically select this hit t and make the opacity a little bit less okay and add a bit of drop shadow to it so i'll just head on to effects and presets drop shadow and put it on this and what i can do is make this all one thing so control shift and c make this right button hit ok hit control d and you know We'll drag one over here. R for rotation and just, you know, rotate this. And put it like this. Now you have got the whole scene. Okay. But, you know, this is still an image. Okay. So these two things are still same because this is an also an image and this also. We need to liven it up. So what we are going to do, first of all, is to get that, you know, paper texture feeling what i'm going to do is right right click over here new and bring an adjustment layer put it on top and let's rename this to post pr okay short for post production okay where i'll be bringing in all my effects okay which i want on top of this so first will be our noise put it on this and i'm just going to make it five okay just less not too much okay or too less now for the next thing posterize time put it again on this let's make it 15 or 14 frames okay this you know the effect is the game changer this is one of my presets okay which is known as best hand-drawn effect and i'll put it over here okay you will not have this preset but what you have to do is these all effects okay which comprises this preset is there here i'll open this up so you can you know see the properties okay so this is actually a slider okay so just search for slider okay slider control and put it over here as you can see it's same okay but it's written over here overall displacement i have just renamed this okay so enter and rename this to your choice okay and you know make sure to you know copy these settings so again rough and edges or sorry rough edges again it's a slider effect speed again it's a slider wiggle amount slider and finally turbulent displace okay this one is not a slider there is actual effect name as turbulent displace okay this effect as you can see let me search it search it for you okay see this is there just put it on and just copy these settings okay then you will just you know get this effect which gives us this paper vibe over here okay as you can see it's lagging a bit okay and as you can see here it's red so if you go down in the effects open turbulent displays and open evolution you can see 
पॉइस्टराइज टाइम ओके जस्ट कॉपी दिस ओके कोड सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज फर्स्ट होल्ड ऑल्ट एंड लेफ्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस एवोल्यूशन टू मेक दिस पार्ट रेड ओके एज यू कैन सी इट्स ब्लू एवरीथिंग दिस टू आर रेड सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज होल्ड दिस विथ ऑल्ट ओके दिस स्टॉप वॉच बटन एंड क्लिक लेफ्ट क्लिक ओवर हि देन दिस पार्ट विल ओपन ओके एंड देन टाइप दिस ओके एंड सेम विथ दिस लेट मी ओपन दिस फॉर यू यू हैव टू टाइप दिस एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो जस्ट होल्ड ऑल्ट एंड लेफ्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस अमाउंट स्टॉप वॉच एंड देन टाइप दिस ओके देन यू विल गेट दिस एनिमेशन ओके विच इज यू नो वीगलिंग अ बिट ओके इट्स अ बिट ऑफ पेपर टेक्सचर एनिमेशन यू कैन सी ओवर हियर नाउ वी हैव गॉट ऑल दी यू नो इफेक्ट्स ओवर हियर नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग विच वी हैव टू डू इज जस्ट सिंपली एनिमेटेड सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई सिलेक्ट द फाइव एड्स ओके एनिमेट ओपैसिटी मेक श्योर द ओपैसिटी इज जीरो ओपन द रेन सेलेक्टर ओके एंड देन मेक इट जीरो दिस एंड पार्ट एंड दिस पार्ट हंड्रेड क्लिक ऑन द एंड की फ्रेम गो अहेड टू अराउंड यू नो वन सेकेंड एंड अगेन क्लिक ऑन द एंड की फ्रेम गो टू द स्टार्ट सॉरी गो टू द एंड एंड मेक दिस हंड्रेड सिलेक्ट दिस एफ नाइन ओके एंड ड्रैग दिस टूअर्स द लेफ्ट ओके एंड फॉर दिस पार्ट ओके आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ डिफरेंट एनिमेशन फॉर दिस ओके द सेम स्टेप्स विच यू डिड एवरी थिंग विल बी सेम सो सिंपली जस्ट सिलेक्ट दिस ओके एनिमेट ओपैसिटी जीरो ओपन द रेन सिलेक्टर ओके सो इट एंड ओवर हियर सो समवेर अराउंड हियर आई स्टार्ट दिस डिक्रीज इट टू जीरो इंक्रीज दिस टू हंड्रेड क्लिक ऑन द एंड की फ्रेम गो अहेड क्लिक ऑन द की फ्रेम एंड मेक दिस फुल नाउ वील एड अनदर थिंग हियर विच इज प्रॉपर्टी एंड देन एल्स हेड ऑन टू पोजिशन एंड वॉट आई डू इज सिलेक्ट दिस वाई एक्सिस एंड ड्रैक दिस डाउन सो यू नो यूल गेट दिस एनिमेशन ओके बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट इट टू बी यू नो पर कैरेक्टर सो वॉट आई डू इज हेड ऑन टू एडवांस्ड एंड मेक दिस वर्ड्स सो यू गेट दिस एनिमेशन सो फॉर दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ प्री सेट ओके सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट टाइम बाय डूइंग द एनिमेशन अगेन एंड अगेन सो दिस विल बी द एनिमेशन एज यू कैन सी आई हैव मेड माई एनिमेशन ऑलरेडी ओवर हियर and then i can you know do this part okay so i'll use my word blink and put it on with this and for the last part i will use opacity fade and put it over here okay now for animating this line what i'm going to do is select it add trim paths okay just around here i'll open this end keyframe go ahead again click on the end keyframe go to the start make this zero select this f9 and then let's make mountain so you get this lagging effect because of posterized time okay which we have used we have done the text now for the surroundings so for this a thought of creating you know it will come in with rotation and position so let's select these two okay and hit p for position hold shift and hit r for rotation click both of them go ahead click again click both of them go to the start and you know simply drag this out over here and select this and drag this out over here and now we have to just rotate this a bit and rotate this a bit too okay so it will come up like this select this f9 and then drag them both towards the center a bit to create a mountain and for this part i'm just going to do a position okay 
so i'll just simply select these textures okay and at the start here hit p for position go ahead again hit p for position go to the start and just drag this down and drag this up simple as that select f9 and let's do the same mountain formation okay and these buttons are already there which i don't want so this one will not be here at the start so i'm just going to cut this okay first i'll you know rename this to left and i'll cut this at the start because behind this nothing is there okay so after this I'll just bring it over here the right button we can simply at the start hit t for opacity go ahead okay again hit opacity keyframe go to the start and let's make it as zero so you get this fading in slowly okay and then after everything comes we simply have to you know i have a effects and presets i have a preset which is for you know my cursor by xbolt studio so this is free okay everything is free so i'm just going to use this okay what you can do is basically bring in a cursor a png okay you don't need to get this preset to do this just bring in a cursor png this preset only helps you know because it has all the pngs within it so i can just you know use it without having to bring in pngs okay and i can simply you know use my animation for this so i'll bring this over here okay so after this is over i'll hit p for position hit r for rotation go ahead somewhere around here okay and just head on to this part i'll hit also shift and s to make the scaling small okay at the start i want the rotation okay to be like this and when it goes over here i want it to rotate to this side okay over here i want to enable the scale keyframe go ahead a bit make it small for clicking animation go ahead again and let's copy the first size and paste it again so you know there will this cake animation over here now i'll simply hit u okay don't select the scale only the position and rotation hit f9 and just make a mountain like we did earlier so after clicking this everything will go towards the left now i'll make everything 3d layer except the background okay is right click new camera hit ok new null object make it 3d2 parent link camera to null and from here as soon as it clicks it hit p for position go ahead and drag this all towards the left select this f9 okay okay and then the next scene will come what i did is i took a single piece of you know art or a still image and decided to you know animate it using you know these elements which were available okay so your part will be or your homework will be to create the rest of the pages okay so this is how you will spark your creativity so next time when you comment then how to you know get creativity or things like that remember okay it's it is not that you don't have creativity it is because you haven't practiced enough okay so with this see you in the next video